hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to teach you something very 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 important and that is how to set up professional email profile picture for webmail okay if you are trying to find out how to set up a logo or i mean a profile logo that will show on gmail whenever whenever you send an email then this video is what you want to watch till the end i usually do a live video where i show my face but today i was behind the time i couldn't meet up with uh, the shooting and everything i i just had to record this video very quick and share it since i made it uh, a responsibility to share every uh, one video every friday so what i'm talking about is something like this so when you come here you see that uh this email came from skilldale and uh, when you check here there's a profile picture it doesn't happen like that with every other email uh and this is very important for every business owner who use you who, who use emails to communicate to uh their prospects their clients or their customers okay uh in, and if you are also into email marketing like you send bulk uh emails to your subscribers then you can also you also be needing this all right because when you don't have this setup you won't have a profile picture and it's not that good for your brand so you can just use your profile your logo to set up your profile picture just like the one you're seeing on the screen right now so that is very easy and i'm not going to take uh too much of your time to show you so to do that uh first of all you need to log out of all your gmail but to avoid that it's very easy to avoid that so you come on because uh, if you are using google chrome which i advise you should use for this purpose so if you come on to your google chrome at the top right corner you see your small icon here if you are already logged into your uh, gmail or if you are already logged into your chrome but if you are not logged in you won't be seeing anything yet then you're good to go then so click on it if you are logged in you see all the profiles that you are currently using on the, uh, your google chrome browser so um since you don't want to log out anything you all you have to do is click on add then you'll be able to add a guest uh user to your or guest a guest profile to your uh, chrome thank god for chrome that has brought this idea of multiple profiles on our chrome browsers where you can log into multiple email accounts before it used to be around eight maximum once you log into eight emails eight gmails then that is enough but now we have a guest uh you can use your guest so i've opened a guest account so this is google uh google account so what you need to do it won't work if you are logged into your gmail account on that browser okay so uh, since i'm using a guest everything i have on my browser doesn't reflect on this guest uh, uh guest profile so um to get to this page okay to get to this page just type on google google account and enter okay and uh, once you type google and enter click on create your google account so when you click on google account to learn you can see that we are on the same page so yeah we what the, the custom email i'm talking about or the web mail i'm talking about is anything at your domain.com for example um maybe hello at awogomatu.com something like that or hi at bbc.com that is a custom domain and if you have that kind of a custom email that is branded to your business alone then you want to set this up so that um you add a little branding uh look and feel to your business so yeah i'm going to create an account and uh, uh to do that you don't need to register anything here you don't need to do anything here when you get here so just click on use my current email address instead so when you click on use my current email address instead so enter your name i'm a worker matthew then you enter the email that you want to use so your, your email here can be info at uh, example.com okay so i wouldn't want to expose this maybe i should cover it but okay i'll just enter my email at uh, this dot dot com then i'll create my password you create your password that you want to use to log in to uh to your google or to your custom email to create your profile so if i continue again this very account that you are creating here it will help you to use your custom email on multiple google 
uh, services like you can use it to open a YouTube channel for your company or for your business you can use it to participate in Google Adsense program you can use it to do a lot of things because it's a Google profile you're creating actually and you know it's one Google profile that does every other thing okay so now click on next and the next thing here is Google is going to send you a verification code okay they will send you a verification code that you can enter to make sure that they verify that you own that domain because since they are not the one creating this account or this account you are not creating it under their domain you will need to verify the ownership of that domain so quickly rush back to your email uh usually your to log into your custom email is um uh your domain.com forward slash webmail then you log into your email so i'm going to log into mine and um you know uh pull out the the code and i'll enter it okay so right here i got the code um verify this email uh, verify this email is yours this email address was recently entered to verify uh, your email address you can use this code to verify that this email belongs to you so the code here is 470266 uh 470 sorry 470266 then that is it i have verified uh, my email now is to enter just like you do with uh, google your gmail i'm going to enter a random date of that year my day the day will be correct but the year i will just enter maybe 19 so you just choose your gender and you click on next so when you click on next you just accept the google terms and condition then um that is it once you accept your google terms and condition wow you have your google account right you have your google account and you can see from the right hand corner here all the google apps are right in for your uh for your for your uh custom email you can see that we're using custom email but look at it all the apps all the apps are there for me now so but the only app that doesn't work is the gmail okay the gmail you won't be able to uh log into gmail like the gmail so you won't be able to use the gmail but aside from that every other app you'll be able to use them even your chrome and that okay so what we are currently focusing on today is um putting up uh, putting up a profile picture right putting up a profile picture so let me let me come here so yeah i will just add a profile photo then i'll click on upload then i'll choose a photo to upload so I'm going to choose one of my picture to upload as my profile picture. So I think I have a picture in um, this folder. Oh. Okay, let me use this when I was shooting. No, nope. let me use something different. Okay, I'll use this. Okay, you allow it to load for some time. Once it's done uploading, you need to resize it or rearrange it the way you want it to be so that you, it will fit into your your shape or your your click all right so now i'm done just click on uh set as profile picture booyah i got it so now i have a profile picture for this email so anytime anytime i have anytime i send an email with this uh anytime i send an email with this profile you will see this profile appearing uh, you will see this picture appearing when you receive my uh, email. You see it on your Gmail app. Uh, you see it on any of uh, on any of the food or any of the email uh, service provider that uh, uses profile picture, even though it is Yahoo Mail and any other platform like that. So now that you've been able to set up your account, another thing you can do is uh, by going to Google Plus. So let me go to Google Plus. Okay, so this is Google Plus. Uh, you you can as well from here and do everything that we just did there. So, but I'm going to go to. Okay, this is the right link uh, about me. So what we want to do is you go to my account .google .com forward slash profile. Then from here you'll be able to edit your profile the way you want and. Uh, You'll be able to edit your profile the way you want. Set up, edit your date of birth. 
uh, change your gender, um, your email as well. You can also add more contact information. Then this is another important thing that you can do. You can add uh, many things here and you can also get a link back to your website from Google by adding link, adding profile link, uh, adding contributor link or adding uh, intruder. Whatever you want to do here, just play around and uh, you know you set up your profile. So, but the most important thing here is that we have set up a profile picture that whenever we send an email to anybody, they are going to see that profile picture and it will speak more a lot about our brand and it will represent our emails will surely represent our brand. Like I said, you can use this profile right now to do a lot of stuff that relates to Google AdSense or Google profile. For example, you can use it to manage your business.google.com and uh, you can also use it on map uh, i think google.business.com business.google.com rather so you can use it to create a business profile that you can uh so right now see now let's say manage you don't have to create another account you just have to start from here and you create your own uh google account so let me click on sign in and you can also use this custom email like i said earlier to uh logged into adsense to create a google adsense account for example when you go to google.com forward slash adsense you can use this to create an adsense account with your custom uh gmail uh, with your custom uh email address okay so when you come here click on get started and uh, google will lock you in and yes just click on your profile to continue and you start entering your adsense details enter your website that is it easy peasy i hope you enjoy watching this video if this video is helpful to you please i want to see your comment in the comment section also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are yet to subscribe hit the thumbs button and you know share this video with your friends somebody might need it as well as yourself see you another week